from Lazella Books and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Monday! I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today's video is going to be my top 14 books of 2023 plus 6 honorable mentions. These books are not going to be in any particular order by the way. The only thing I'm sure of is my first place book. Heavenly Bodies by Imani Eru. These two lovers romance. Yeah, involving the gods and celestial powers. The heroine Aurelia seeks asylum from the neighboring kingdom because the gods had killed her parents and she needs to train with Enzo, the prince of the neighboring kingdom. Yeah, Ilaria has dark magic and Enzo has light magic. Heroin and Enzo are the only ones capable of standing up to the gods and it's their romance. Echoes of You. It's a friends to lovers romance, romantic suspense. Maddie, the heroine, is back in her small town and she sees her best friend Nash again. The reason Maddie left is because she had a boyfriend and her boyfriend wanted her to cut ties with Nash. And so it's Maddie's and Nash's romance. Nash learns that Maddie was in an abusive relationship so he tries his best to protect her. Nash moves into Maddie's house just to keep her safe from her boyfriend because her boyfriend keeps like stalking her. Maestro. It's a right love wrong time kind of scenario. It reminded me of a love letter to whiskey. Uh, we follow Chadwick and Alora and they meet at a music school and started out as friends but then their relationship turns romantic but something happens to their relationship that caused them to break up and then we get into this never-ending cycle of breaking up and getting back together because something always happens to get in the way of their romantic relationship and it was so angsty. After the Storm by Laura Pavlov. It's a second chance romance. It's my favorite book in the Cottonwood Cove series. Um, the hero and the heroine have a relationship when they're teenagers. They try to make it work when they're in college, but they, they just couldn't make it work. The heroine moves on to marry someone else and the hero is left heartbroken. So he has a one night stand with a girl at this bar and and he becomes a single father. The heroine goes back to town after divorcing her husband and to take care of her father because her father is sick and she meets the hero again and the hero's daughter who was adorable. They ha the hero has secret tattoos to represent their past relationship and to represent his daughter. It was just so sweet. We have an optimist guide to heartbreak and we have the heroine who wants to reconnect with her best friend's older brother. Her best friend 
passed away when they were teenagers and she gets a job at the hero's car mechanic shop as a secretary and it's their romance it's grumpy sunshine this book was so emotional god of fury it's an mm romance we follow kids of the mafia and we follow nikolai and Brian Nikolai is very um one track minded. He has he's very he has a manic personality and when he ha when he is hyper focused on something that's all he can concentrate on and he sets his sights on Brian. Brian is this good boy who never does anything wrong, who, who, who plays an English sport, but Nikolai pursues Bran, even though Bran tells Nikolai he's straight, but Nikolai can, can see from Bran's reactions that maybe Bran is not as straight as he seems, and it's their romance, and I left how Brian and Nikolai calmed each other's demons, like gave each other a safe space to just rest their minds. Garen Park, it's an enemies to lovers romance, it's a motocross romance. Um, Devon and Maddox were raised to be enemies by their fathers. So they they hate each other this whole time. They live in this trailer park until one day Devon shows up at Maddox's house looking for his brother because his father like beat him up again and Maddox says, I'm not going to send you away when your father is looking for you. So Maddox helps treat Devon's wounds. And it's through that night that their relationship changes. But their hate for each other is still pretty much alive even though they start having an attraction to or toward each other and they still start liking each other, they still have that competitive nature toward each other. Reckless by Elsie Silver and it's a surprise pregnancy romance. And I just love Theo and Winter so much. I love Theo's relationship with his daughter. And I love that no matter what happens, Theo is always in Winter's corner. He will stick up for Winter whenever somebody speaks badly of her. Like even Rhett, when Rhett sp spoke badly of Winter and telling people that she had a frosty personality, Theo will not stand for it. He goes to bat for winter. Still, by Kennedy Ryan, and it's the last book in Grip, in the Grip trilogy, we follow Grip and Bristol, and it's a marriage in trouble romance. Grip and Bristol are dealing with a lot of what happened in their marriage internally but also externally because people kept telling them that their relationship is wrong because Grip is an African American man and Bristol is a white woman but through it all they never, Grip and Bristol never lose sight of each other even though they want to pull away, they always find their way back to each other. Saving and Redeeming Six 
And I always say, saving and redeeming six follows the events of finding and keeping 13, but through Joey's eyes and Joey's struggle with mental health, with addiction, because he uses drugs to cope with his abusive household. And, and he, he struggles because he wants to leave his abusive household, but he doesn't want to leave his siblings behind because he knows what it's like to have his older brother leave him behind because he, his older brother essentially did leave him behind and now he's stuck being the oldest of the Lynch siblings and trying to protect them from their abusive father. I love his relationship with Aoife, Johnny. I love Johnny and Shannon, but there's just something about Joey Lynch that has my heart. Caution to the Wind by Gianna Darling. It's a best friend's dad romance, motorcycle romance. Axeman's wife died um, tragically and May happens to witness how she dies and it's through that situation that Axeman and May grow closer along with Thea because they trauma and build bond together. It isn't until May's 18 that she realizes that she has romantic feelings for Axeman, but she can't let go of finding the the killer of Axeman's wife because she was there to witness it. She does something to put Axeman in jail, and so she they're separated, and it isn't until something tragic happens to Cleo that May is back in the picture and it's a slow burn romance um with Axeman coming to terms with his romantic feelings for May but May has always had feelings for Axeman and it was just so good I love Yana Darling so much and it might be my fear. It might be my second favorite book in the series after Ink and Lie. The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. Ryan Shay's Quiet Love for Indy reigns supreme for me. The way he is caring, attentive, he will go above and beyond for Indy, even in, like learning sign language to to learn how to communicate with her deaf father. Ryan Shay is book boyfriend. Perfection in my eyes. He's how he noticed Indy's little quirks, how he tries to be helpful with her. The Lost Boys by Jesse Walker. And we follow, the first book is called where there's a will the second book is called if there's a way and they have a third book still beating but we essentially we follow will who has something traumatic happen with a person he's close to so he rides around his bike he ends up back in his small town he meets a, a guy from childhood who offers him a, a place at his garage and then he meets Waylon again. What's his best friend in in childhood but they had a falling out, a really bad falling out. So after that falling out, Will leaves town and never looks back but but they're in each other's proximity again and they, they cannot help the attraction toward each other. 
Will has his mental health struggles, but but Waylon has a whole nother mental health struggles that he's trying to deal with. And this book was so, so angsty. It's the angstiest MM romance I have ever read. The angst goes all the way through the first book, all the way through the second book. And it was just so good. I love Will and Waylon so much. Number one pick for 2023 is Manacled by Sinlin Yu. It's basically what would happen if Harry Potter lost the war and everybody died and Hermione is in captivity. She is sent to Voldemort's High Reeve and the High Reeve turned out to be Draco and she is sent to Draco's house to be like a surrogate for Draco and Draco's wife she is sent to be like a surrogate to have Draco's baby and this book was so so good Draco's obsession for Hermione his mute his pining for her, his longing glances. Oh my God, it knows no bounds. I love Draco in this book. It's the Draco redemption arc that we never got with Harry Potter, and I loved it. And now we get on to my honorable mentions. Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. It's a surprise pregnancy romance. Friends to lovers, it was so good. Real by Kennedy Ryan. We have a romance between a director and his actress. It's forbidden and the heroine has lupus. We have the rest of our story by Ta Bauer. It's an emotional MM hockey romance. I just loved Morgan and Shay so much. I also loved the side characters. Brody has my heart. Next we have Unsteady by Pete and Corinne. It's a college hockey romance and it has some of the best mental health representation I have seen. Both the hero, Reese, and the heroine, Sadie, struggle with mental health. The Canary Coward. It's the Canary Coward. It's a romance between a football player and his physical therapist. The autism rep in this book was so, so good. The heroine's brother, older brother, has autism. Please read it. The fake out between a physical therapist on the team and one of the hockey players. They decide to fake date because the heroine's exploit is traded to their team. Uh, but what the heroine doesn't know is Rory has been secretly pining for her because the heroine was Rory's tutor. And Rory is finally going to take his shot. The last honorable mention I'm going to mention is Magnolia Park's Long Way Home. I finally got the hype of BJ and Magnolia. They belong together. Those are all my top books of 2023. Please let me know if you have read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.